All right, this is 16002 Langhorn. And we are in Tampa, Langhorn Court. And we push through the closet flange or where the toilet stubs up in the master. We're at 30 feet so far and you can just see a, a whole bunch of debris inside the pipe. So I wanted to at least get that debris on camera uh, before we cleared it just to see if there's any issues with the pipe. So what I'm going to do is run some water down through here now. Oh, that's the one that's disconnected. All right, let me try to find the one. Okay, no problem. Oh, we are we're hunting for water, so I'm going to hang tight. All right, so we've got some water coming now, so it'll clean off the debris we have on the camera head. I'm just pushing the debris through here now with the camera. That's why the screen looks like it does. This is our 45 degree fitting, uh, dropping straight down. You can see the cameras dangling. This is where the sewer exits the house.
All right, so our, our water flow is starting to die off, so I'm going to go ahead and start pulling back and uh, inspecting the pipe. So all PVC pipe, so far I don't see uh, any issues. So we have a small piece of buildup here, um, almost looks like calcium buildup. So we got quite a bit of build up here, but I don't see any issues with the actual pipe itself. So I just came back through. We got some build up here. This looks like a combo. So a lot of times what I'll see is if using wipes or something of that nature, when those wipes hit this wall of this combo right here, they'll stop. And then eventually they'll get pushed down through here, but the water outruns the yeah, waste. Yeah, because it just starts building up and the water flows over time. Yeah, so a lot of times I'll see, it's not, I mean, it's the right fitting, mm -hmm. but, you know, you can tell we've had a backup. It's almost like that's where it starts. Sure See, because coming back here, it's not as bad. Mm -hmm. But once I hit this combo, see that? Yep. And then that goes another, what, six feet or so? So this is where all of her stuff's just been sitting. I'm pushing stuff again. Yep, pushing a little bit of junk. See that? Yep. That's just from the backups. But the pipe itself looks good. It's not cracked, it's not broken. If there was a sag or a belly in it, since we the ran that hose, yeah, we would have already gone un completely underwater with the camera. 
So I'm not seeing anything that warrants tearing the floor up. Yeah, because we were watching the flow all the way down, and it looked actually really good. You guys see another, some more little pieces of mm -hmm. build up here. Tyler, let's um, go turn that hose back on for me, okay. and let me just let this run through a little bit more. I'll push the camera. Just to see if we see anything else. Yeah, I want to run with the flow. Just as a build up right there. Yeah, see that build? See, I've just, I've scraped it with the camera. Yeah, yeah. Coming back up now. yeah, I'm right here at the end, so I must have reset our counter. I'll reset it right at the bottom of this 90. So, I mean, it's, it's like I said earlier, it's good news and it's bad news. So we're just, we've got the hose running, we're, we're just watching the flow, we want to make sure everything's flowing great. I don't see any issues, but we just want to be 100% sure. So flow looks great. I don't see any issues at all uh, with the pipe. It's it's beautiful, and I've got a hose running in here, you know, full blast from the and front if of the house. If there's any problems, the water would start piling up somewhere.
So flow looks great. We just shut the water off. I'm going to continue recording as I come back up to the closet flange. So we camera it all the way out to where the sewer is to house. Has just a tiny bit of debris built up on the sides, but in my opinion, it's not even worth jetting. It'd be a waste of money. Everything looks good. We're back out of the flange.